Thanks for joining me again. I'm going to do another scene in Scotland today. So I'm just starting off with clear water all over the paper. It's 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper I'm using the large Ron Ranson height. And then I'm going raw sienna. Just put it on randomly, no particular order to it. <clears throat> Clean the brush. And then I'm going ultramarine blue. And then just sort of brush that in from the top corner. Brush that down. Maybe a touch of uh, Payne's grain there as well. Just change the. Uh, do you get a few subtle differences in sounds and in you know, colours? Just bring that down somewhere like that. And then same colours again. Raw Sienna, Payne's Grey, Ultramarine, all the same colours used in the sky. And you start just putting some of those uh, distant hills. Then, uh, obviously as they get closer to us, stronger paints, more paint, less water. And there's like a big one, big one there. Something like that. Now the colour change is down to a more sort of raw sienna, a bit of burnt umber. Sort of See, and a touch of ultramarine just darkens it that little bit and then somewhere just darken this a little bit more because what I want to do is put a little, little cottage in there and I'll show you a very quick way of doing a very simple way of doing a little building it's like a little cottage or something in this sort of scene up in the uh, up in the island somewhere. Get the piece where you put them, get the part of the pipe where you want the uh, cottage to go, nice and dark. Make sure you've got a flat surface. See the paper stretch, so I'm just pulling it tight now and really fix it on this uh, right hand side. And I'm going to take a it's just a plastic card, make sure it's dry. Just a little plastic card. Whoop. like a piece of a credit card or something you're going to use it to scrape out scrape out a little cottage so you know, just something like that you've got a little little chimney and then there's another part to this so I'm just going to pull in down like that you know, that's it going down you have a little window or door level the ground off below it. Yeah. Might even stick another one in. You see it's not much. It just gives the impression that there's something there. I mean, there is another way. I'll, I'll do it next time. You, you, you sort of take the paint off with the uh, with a damp brush. This is a fairly lazy way of doing it. Back to the uh, raw sienna, and there's a bit of a few little trees and things there. Just dibs and dabs. Again, uh, there's like some little, little 
showing its posts there. Just little bits of details like that, just helps give the viewer something to think about. Now, I think before I do anything else, I'm just going to put a little path in there. So I'm doing light red, ultramarine. And then side where you want the path, I'm going to sort of have it going round there and then sort of sweeping round, something like that. Something like that. Coming back to the raw sienna. So raw sienna, burnt umber and ultramarine. Just variations on there. Get that nice and dark by the uh, by the path. And then just to emphasise that a bit, I'm just going to put some little rocks. Just to emphasise that path a bit, just helps bring it out. And then again, just constantly varying the colour down there. You need not too much water on the brush. Darker bits of uh, little bits of grass and stuff growing down there. Yeah, I'm not going this eye up in this sort of distance until it's pretty dry on the brush, so there's not going to be much coming off. So start down the bottom where it's close, where you want it to look nice and big. So where you want it to look nice and big, and then obviously you want it smaller and smaller. So now the brush is getting pretty dry, so now I can sort of, it's not too much of an effort just to get it nice and small and just create that sense of distance. So a little character, I think, might help. I'll give it a quick dry first. Just make sure that's nice and uh, Nice and flat. I'm going to switch to the uh, the rigger and then I'm just going to go straight into some light red. Light red and then just start with these sort of shoulders and back and then going into the light blue in uh, ultramarine I'm just continuing that down pop his head on my little stick little walking stick with him and just some something there just scuff that up some with the brush. Just a little uh, 
just gives it a little focal point. Again, not too strong on the uh, brush this time. And now, uh, over on this side, I'm just going to put it all two or three birds. And then finally, somewhere in the corner, over here, I think, pop your signature, and I'll call that one finished. Mm. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please ask. Keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon.